Hi guys, Rice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about nail polishes. So, I'm going to show you my top 10 nail polishes. I nagre-request ng video na to. So, I just want to put it out there. I want to talk about the brand in general. So, hindi lang yung top 10, pero yung brand within the top 10. So, 10 polishes na ipapakita ko ngayon ay walang order just because I cannot rank them from top 10 to top 1. So, iba-iba sila ng finish, iba-iba sila ng itsura, iba-iba sila ng experience para sa akin. So, the first polish I'm going to show you is a local brand. So, this is Chic Nail Color in the shade Bohemian and it's a uh, it's a taupe. Yeah, para siyang grayish. It's not actually gray. It uh, yes, it has a gray undertone, pero definitely it's a brown taupe color. Para nice thing about this polish is gustong gusto ko siya isuot sa aking manicure. Tama ba? Manicure? Pedicure? <laughs> sa aking kamay. So, gustong gusto ko siyang sinusuot sa aking kamay kasi sobrang sophisticated niya tignan. It's, you can never go wrong with taupe shades. These types of colors, hindi sila namimili ng skin tone. So, mapamorena, mapamaputi. Maganda silang tignan sa kamay. It splatters my skin tone in particular. That's why I love it. Every time na sinusuot ko to, ang dami kong compliments na nakukuha. Dala nila ako ay nagpa salon, nagpa nail salon, pero hindi. It's because maganda yung kulay nito. So, yeah, I get a lot of compliments it. The Chic Nail Color uh, brand, okay, yung opacity niya, it's opaque in two coats. have to do two layers to make it opaque. Kasi yung first layer, medyo streaky pa siya. High quality yung nail polishes ng Chic. Uh, I think this is worth 30 pesos or 33 pesos. It's almost available sa lahat ng drugstore and sa mga, yan, sa Watson, sa beauty stores. Kapag ako namimili ako ng taupe, either yung isang shade ng Caronia, which I'm out right now, and ito. So, usually ito yung pinipili ko. The next polish is another local brand. This is Caronia in On The Go. And this is my perfect pedicure. Oh! So this is On The Go. Yan, ito, 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 ito. Hindi ko na mabilang kung ilang bote na yung nabili ko ng ganito. Kasi sobrang, ito yung perfect polish ko for my feet. So ito yung aking pedicure, the perfect pedicure polish. Nakakapagpaputi siya ng paa for for some reason. Parang ang, ang, ang ganda-ganda ng paa ko, parang my feet is put together kapag ito yung aking pedicure. So, I really love it for that. Lagi akong may stock nito. Hindi ako nawawala ng stock nito. Caronia is a local brand, so it's a affordable brand. I think 35 pesos ba yung per bottle. And also, maganda rin siya sa kamay. Uh, kung mahili kayo sa mga teal, mahili kayo sa mga blue teal color, uh, you have to try this one out. Next polish is from OPI. This is called It's a Piazza Cake. I think um, fall 2015 collection ito. If I'm not mistaken, parang Venice or parang parang yon, parang Italian yung theme nung nung collection na yon. And first off, uh, this was endorsed by Kathleen Lights. Not endorsed, pero highly recommended by Kathleen Lights. Kasi kakulay niya, it's like a polished version of the Miami Fever of Ofra Miami Fever. And this is what it looks like. Wala akong swatch. Basically, it's a pumpkin terracotta burnt orange shade which I, I love. I love both for my lips and for my for my nail polish and I think this really screams fall it screams Halloween parang ganun siya. So it's a very unique shade. Wala akong makitang shade na ganito especially sa mga local brands natin. I hope makagawa sila ng ganitong shade. Kahit sa mga international brands like Essie and uh, Zoya, wala pa ako makitang shade nito. I think playing Koy of Essie is a nice dupe for it. It's opaque in one coat but I tend to do two coats halos sa lahat ng aking nail polish. And okay yung formula ng OPI. OPI formula is really long lasting for me. So, hindi siya kagad nag-chip. Actually, dalawa yung favorite ko si Nikayla Polish, pero hindi ko dala yung isa. It's called Porter Miami. So, yung suot ko dun sa aking September faves. No, sa MT. So, yung suot ko sa last video ko. Check that out. It's called Porter Miami. And para siyang um, cobalt blue. Yun yung pagkakadescribe ni Kathleen. It's a cobalt blue. And kahit ganun yung shade niya, kahit kala mo, hindi siya unique. Ang hirap humanap ng dupe. Ang hirap humanap ng local dupe. Polish na blue natin, it's either darker than that or uh, it's like a periwinkle or mas ma mas lighter dun sa blue na yun. But that is a true cobalt blue. And it really flatters my skin tone. That's why I like that. And um, KL polish for me chips very fast. As in, madali, mabilis siyang mabura. Mabilis siyang mag-chip sa akin. For the first 30 minutes na ma-apply ko siya, may gagawin akong something. Mabilis siyang ma-chip. Because I think yung formula ng KL polish is thick. Thicker than other nail polishes. Ang tendency kapag naglagay ako ng two coats, kagad siyang aangat. Kasi makapal yung nail polish. If I'm making any sense. 
So, yun ang ayoko sa ibang nail polishes na KL Polish. Pero yung Porter Miami, okay na okay siya kasi hindi siya, hindi siya nag-chip ka agad. And also this one. So, yung, yung pagka gusto ko sa Porter Miami and um, Pistachio Ice Cream is almost the same. So, I'm mentioning both of them. This is called uh, pistachio ice cream. I love this because first, it flatters my skin tone. Almost lahat naman dito ay okay na okay sa aking skin tone. Nagmumukhang, nagmumukhang malinis yung aking kamay whenever I use them. So, the formula of this is like Porter Miami. So, hindi siya kagad nag-chip sa akin. And the shade is really unique. Kasi mahirap pumanap ng ganitong shade. Like the pistachio, not pistachio ice cream eh. Because yung pistachio ice cream is medyo minty pa dito. Pero ito, mukha siya talagang yung nut. As in yung pistachio nut. Ay... I love it. I love the formula pati. So my favorite silver, metallic silver, is this one from KB Shimmer. This is a, uh, a an indie brand in the US. This is Reflector. It, it is really reflective. Tamang-tama sa kanya yung pangalan niya. This is actually a dupe. This is foiled. Nakalip, Cirque. Cirque and foiled. And this is KB Shimmer and Reflector. Pero mas uh, silver yung Reflector. This one gusto ko dito is wala siyang huge chunks of glitters. Kasi pag may glitters yung nail polish mo, ang hirap niya tanggalin. Walang, kailangan mo talaga siyang kuskusin ng bonggang-bongga. Ang, ang technique na ginagawa ko is I put on a peel of coat before I put on a uh, really shimmery glitter. But it's really a pain in the ass para matanggal yung mga ganun. Pero ito, wala siyang huge chunk of glitters. It just glides on like a normal nail polish pero sobrang reflective niya. As in, it's, it's reflective in a way na hindi siya chrome. Para siyang may, may may fine particles ng glitters pero it applies really smoothly. Walang problema sa pagtanggal kahit na marami siyang glitters and uh, the formula is also nice kasi long lasting rin siya. I have a lot of silver and glittery nail polishes. This is my on the go. Ito talaga yung to grab for ko kapag yun, gusto ko ng silver nail polish. Sa polish, polish please PH, I will link it below. It's a uh, an official seller ng mga SE, Zoya, OPI, and other um, indie brands. Siyempre, kapag may silver, meron ding gold. So, this is my go-to gold. This is Zoya in Civ. This is what it looks like. I'm sure nung ginamit ko to, maraming nakapansin kasi maraming nagtanong doon sa aking video. Zoya is one of the um, mainstream brands uh, available outside the Philippines. I don't think or, or baka meron sa Manila ng Zoya. Just, it's very opaque. Opaque in one coat, pero para mas reflective siya, two coats. Halos pareho siya ng formula ni KB Shimmer. Kahit meron siyang chunks of glitters, hindi siya mahirap tanggalin. And madali siyang i-apply. Glides on like a normal nail polish. And yeah, it's really reflective also. So, kung naghahanap kayo ng reflective gold, yung iba kasi, kulang yung, kulang yung, um, kulang yung gold flex sa kanya kaya hindi siya ganun ka opaque especially yung mga gold polishes na nasa local brands natin pero ito sobrang opaque niya as in ang ganda niya sa kamay and we have here another local brand this is from HBC HBC uh, Nail Love this brand is the most this brand is the most long wearing and long lasting nail polish I have it as a brand as in lahat ng aking HBC is very consistent lahat ng Lahat ng gamitin ko sa HBC, ang bilis niyang matuyo, hindi siya kagad nag-chip, ang tagal niya sa aking kuko. It would last me two weeks. Sobrang high quality ng mga nail polishes niya. Anyway, this is called Avocado Shake. First, it's a very unique shade. Ang dami ko rin nakuhang compliment nung ito yung ginamit ko. Parang siyang flexif little shimmers and sparkles sa kanya, pero hindi siya ganun ka kakita kapag in-apply mo na. And ang, ang tagal ng... Ang taga, it's very long lasting. Ang bilis niyang matayo, you guys. nag apply kasi ako usually ng nail polish sa gabi. So, pagka gising ko, ang dami niya ng lines nung, nung kumot or unan or kung saan man ako nahiga. Pero pag ginamit ko yung mga HBC, walang ganun. Walang ganun ganap. That's why I I love the formula. So, another shade from HBC, the Cloudy Gray. Ito kasi medyo weird yung shade na to. Weird in a good way. Just because it may look like a, a gray. Pero pag in-apply mo siya, depende sa number of coats, nagiging siyang like maong maong blue. Parang jeans, jeans blue. Ang hirap i-explain. Pero ganun siya. It, it has like a cloudy yeah, cloudy gray. It's like a cloud, cloudy gray. So para siyang ganun. Para siyang nagiging muted blue. This would also suit a lot of skin tone. That's the formula of HBC. I cannot elaborate more how fantastic they are. Dami kong local brand. Another local brand is the OMG Oh My Gel Nail Lacquer. This is in the shade Ashley. Kahalos ka pareho niya si Bohemian. Pero mas uh, muted, mas gray ito. Mas ito para siyang pinaghalong gray and purple. Yan, para siyang 
Yeah, para siyang ganun. Pero heavy yung gray undertone sa kanya. I get a lot of compliments when I use this shade. Para kasi ang lakas niya makamadam. Yan. It's very it's a very sophisticated shade. Love also the formula of OMG. Kahit sa presyo niya ha, sobrang opaque niya. Ito nga nabili ko siya for 27. I think nagmahal na yung OMG ngayon. Like 35 na yata sila. Tapos iba na yung packaging niya. Parang may white packaging na siya. And it, it, that sucks you guys. Kasi 27 pesos. Tapos nagjump siya into... Like, how much? Ang, ang mahal ng minahal niya. Parang 5 pesos yung minahal niya. Pero, mura pa rin siya compared to other nail polishes. And, mas malaki yata. Mas maraming product kaya yata makukuha dito. Ay, second to the last nail polish is from Essie. It's called Penny Talk. Uh, Essie for me, yung formulation ng Essie in general, hindi ko siya gusto. Kasi, ang bilis niyang mag-chip. Mas mabilis pa siyang mag-chip kay KL Polish. As in, parang sobrang rupok ng formulation niya. Kahit anong gawin ko, kahit wala akong gawin, magsulat lang ako ganyan, nag-chip siya sa aking nail. So, it's really not long-lasting for me. Pero yung shade na penito, oh my god, you guys. It's a rose gold. It's a chrome rose gold shade. I, this is what it looks like. It's a chrome. Yung in-apply mo siya, wala kang makikita ng silver flecks sa kanya. But it's a uh, reflective rose gold shade. Ang bilis niya mag-out of stock kay Polish Please. So, if ever na ma-chempohan ninyo, I suggest you grab it. And ako, I, I, I love rose gold. So, I love this. The last and final shade, if you are an OG subscriber, mahuhulaan ninyo to. Ito yung nasa nails ko ngayon. This is what it looks like. This is called Coffee Brown from Sassy Colors. I cannot say any negative about this. The price is right. The color is fantastic. It would suit a lot of of skin tone. It flatters my skin tone so much. And if ever na, if ever na tumigil ako sa pag-apply nito, like, kung kunyari two weeks hindi ko siya nagamit and I go back to it, I would really question myself, bakit ko ba siya tinigilan gamitin? Ay akong iwanan lahat ng nail polishes ko and ito lang magstay okay na ako. Super girly and super... It, I think this polish reflects just my personality. It might be weird. It's worth 22 pesos. Let that sink in, guys. 22 pesos. 22 pesos lang siya. I love this and uh, I have a lot of backup. Hindi, hindi ko na rin mabilang kung ilang bote yung naubos ko. Hindi ko na mabilang kung ilang bote yung pinamigay ko, pinag-giveaway ko nito. It's it's my perfect polish. So yun yung aking top, tail nail so, yun yung aking top 10 nail polishes. Yun yung reason bakit ko sila nag nagustuhan. It, may, it might be the formulation. It might be how it flatters my skin tone. It could be uh, the, the shade because it, it might be unique. So, yun yung mga reasons ko kung bakit ko sila favorite. Don't forget to comment down below your favorite nail polish and I might check that out. I, yung nail polish kasi is something that grew on me. Before, kung napapanood yung videos ko, hindi ako magsusot ng nail polish. Hindi ako mahilig sa nail polish. But, it's like your accessory. Kahit wala kang relo, kahit wala kang wala kang bracelet. I, I feel like I'm put together when I have nail polish. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below your favorite nail polish. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you on my next video. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye!